Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your man Bobby Washington. Um, welcome to my Bobby Washington vlog channel. Please subscribe to the channel, and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, I do have a link to the uh, Adobe LUT for the log footage um, in the description area. Um, so just click the link and grab uh, those two LUTs that they made for us for the log footage. And um, I just brought them in my, my DaVinci. Also, I brought them in my Premiere. I'm gonna show you how to do this in both, how to set it up and, and everything, and, and pretty much give it a test. So I shot this this morning um, in log footage for K 24 frames per second. It's my son in the room. Um, I didn't see any any way for me to to uh, do manual settings in there inside the uh, the log side on the cinematic side. Yes, but you can't open up log on the cinematic side of the iPhone uh, 15 Pro. So I just kept it the way they gave it, gave it to me. Um, I was able to control, I guess, the exposure the most. But yeah, so basically what you need to do is. Um, once you have downloaded the link, you want to go ahead and before we test it out how it looks, I'll show you how to import it uh, for, for Premiere and DaVinci. So once you download the link, um, to do it for Premiere, you want to open up a finder and then you want to go to, uh, you want to go to uh, Go window, press down the option key on the Mac and go to library, the hidden library right there. See it's hidden, hit library. You want to go over to Advocating Support, or you want to go down to Adobe, go to Common, and you want to go to LUTs and Creative. If you don't have a creative folder, you can create one here and make it creative, because um, that's where you're going to access the LUT inside of Premiere in the creative section. So you want to go to the, the folder I gave you, the, the files I gave you, Adobe. You can actually just highlight those and press Copy, touch over here in Creative, and paste it. I've already pasted it in there, so I don't need to do it. So that's how, you, that's, how, that's how you get them in here for Premiere. I'm gonna show you how to get them in for DaVinci now. So, um, or to access them too. To access them, I'm sorry, before we go to DaVinci. To access it, you go to Creative, you go to Input, uh, under Lookup, right here, and you access it here. You can go to the uh, basic side, it will not be there. It won't be here, it'll be only in the Creative. That's what we put it. So you go here and you'll see that you can access the LUTs in here and it's gonna be in here. Now, if you already have this open, you have to restart Adobe Premiere for it to see it. Um, so you just you know, click it, the LUT, and boom. It changed the color immediately. Um, whether you like the color or not, you know, I don't know. <laughs> but that's the LUT that Apple made for us. Um, of course, you can do, uh, do it by hand as well. You don't have to use their LUT if you don't like, but you can if you like. So now let's go over to DaVinci. So DaVinci Resolve is right uh, here. So for DaVinci, you want to go to File, Project Settings. You want to go to Color Management. And then down here, Open LUT Folder. Go here, and this is where you want to actually paste those same LUTs that you downloaded from me. Just paste them right here in this LUT folder. You close it out, and then you want to go ahead and press Update List. Update List. Um, press a bit list. Once it's a bit list, you're good. And then you want to change this. When you um, automatically open up um, DaVinci, it's going to be set to Trill Near. You want to, I hope I pronounce it right. <laughs> you want to change the tetrahedral. That'll give you the best um, possible type of quality when using LUTs in, in uh, DaVinci Resolve. That's what I found. So press save. Oh, and make sure up here that you have it set like this for your color space. If not, sometimes you bring in log footage and it'll be all colored already. So you want to make sure that you have DaVinci YRGB selected. Make sure Rec 709 Gamma 2.4 set it, uh, sele selected for a time, timeline color space and output color space. Make sure it's set just like those two. And then you press save. All right? So now when you bring the, the inside the media, you bring the files in here, they're going to be, you know, flat looking. Go over to color space. You can make some nodes like I did by pressing Option S to create more nodes like that. Um, and then um, you can actually pick a you know node that you wanna put the uh, the LUT on. So to the LUTs, you'll find LUTs, you go to LUTs in the left-hand corner here, LUTs, and here's the Apple. They got two, one is darker than the other. As you can see here, when I scroll over it, it's darker than the other. Now I'm gonna touch the LUT, let me turn it on. Yep, see now it is, there it is. So this one is darker than this one. So I like this one, the regular one. I don't like the darker one. So you can actually just take this and drag it over to a node, like I did here. Okay. So that's pretty much how you use it inside DaVinci, and how you um, bring it in 
um, in DaVinci, um, and I've already showed you Premiere. Okay, so I hope this video helped you guys. Um, like I said, whether you like the colors that it gives you is gonna be a personal uh, choice. Um, myself, I choose to color grade my own footage from scratch, you know, by messing with the tools, but hey, teach his own. People love LUTs. So I hope you like my video. Please subscribe, you know, if you like the video. Peace.